Unai, good afternoon. Burnley on Saturday, what kind of a test will they give your team? Good afternoon. It's the first match at home this year and uh, uh, we are looking forward to, to meet with our supporter in Emirates and very exciting for, for that match. Uh, and also preparing with, uh, with a big, big work, enthusiastic for, for each, each moment this, this week to prepare that first match. And really, really also knowing it's going to be difficult uh, this year. And uh, start at home against Barley. They are in very good moment, very good moment. They they won three three nil, but uh, very amazing precision, and they are very strong team with uh, one structure very clear. Last year against us they they change, but it's not normal. They played five three two, but I think they are going to play four four two because uh, that structure for them is uh, they get strong structure I think, and uh, also. They, they are a, a team with a good coach, uh, experience here in in England, and also in in the Premier League. Uh, they are playing, they are working, they are doing a, a good way. And uh, Saturday we need all all the best for us, individually, collectively. Uh, the adaptation also sometimes. Their game plan, but above all, we need to impose our, our game plan and and uh, be confident, uh, be with our supporter, uh, feeling good to to try how we can uh, impose our idea. And and really, really, I think we have a lot of things uh, for be positive and also for for work for with our supporter to to be strong uh, here together. You said last week the new signings needed a bit more time. Are they ready to start now? Each, each player is different and uh, really after Newcastle this uh, this week the, the players they are working well today the same uh, we can decide to choose different option uh, in in each uh, position uh, in the squad and uh, really uh, I think we need to be competitive and uh, we need to uh, Different uh, option to 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 decide uh, who is better each match, and uh, if I have some doubt, it's good because it's positive, and after we are going to decide, it depends the timing tomorrow. But the the, the new players, the the player they they were with us last year, and the young player they are with us, uh, we can. Uh, we can achieve uh, our, our our way each match uh, with confidence for them. Uh, Mr. Dersel and Seard Kalasinac, I gather, have trained today and trained yesterday. Can you confirm that for us? They can come back training with us uh, the first in, on on Tuesday. We we had off, but they they came to 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 start training with us. He really is a leader sick. Uh, Mesut Ozil, he, he didn't train yesterday, but today he, he trained with us. And I think each training gives us good information and good different option with them also uh, for to, to, to take the decision if they are going to, to be with us Saturday, if they, if they can play Saturday the, in the first 11. But we are going to, to wait to, for tomorrow, the last training. What, what does it mean to you to have them back? What does it mean for them to be back with you? Are you pleased that they're back? If I am pleased for they back, of course. <laughs> but after what they've, they've been through, what, what does it mean to everyone here at the club? Uh, for, for us, for me, first is like uh, a person after like player and uh, we continue in our way with uh, all the players they are ready with us and uh, consistent uh, everyday training 
and uh, his mind, the focus for the for each match. And uh, they came came back on Tuesday. Uh, at least that circumstance I I, I told you uh, was uh, sick uh, yesterday. Mesu today is getting better, but uh, f uh, when they are training regularly every day and uh, consistent every day is the the good news for us because uh, we can we can uh, choose then for help us the, the matches and the first match is saturday mentally are they okay would they be okay to play this weekend again i can't respond <laughs> the same if they are training consistent each day they are with normal work each training uh, i am going to decide and i am going to to achieve the best solution each moment and uh, for example uh, is positive they are with us now and just on on mesit there's a suggestion that he he might leave he might go to play for dc united mls if he wanted to go would you understand the situation? But really, really, when we are starting Saturday playing the second match, the first at home against uh, Barley, can you think I am thinking and I am uh, losing my time if uh, the player can leave from here? My focus, my direction, and with the players, they are here with us, and Mark, and everybody, is play Saturday. I will be ready for Saturday at home. And you asked about the new players that arrived in the summer, whether they were fit or whether they could start against Burnley. And you said it's different for each player. With Nicolas Pepe, could he start this weekend? Is he ready to start? I am going to decide tomorrow because now is a small difference for for my my decision about the player. It depends how they they will be tomorrow in the training. But uh, Pepe is training with us is improving with us, is knowing us, our idea, our style, is little by little, understand better with the teammates, and physically also getting better. And he is more close to help us at the beginning or uh, after uh, giving impact for us uh, during the match. Hi. Um, just going back there, you said that you think about the person first and then the team, the player afterwards. What they've been through, Meza and Seyed, is incredibly scary. Are you confident that mentally they're ready to play? Yes, 100%. And, and you've spoken to them and they've told you they want to play? I 100% with them, uh, with uh, their mentalities is uh, now and focus for us. Uh, for training and for match. And uh, have they given you a, a sense of how scary it was for them? Really, really, my focus is uh, be positive and, and think uh, with the player they are 100% with his mind here. And uh, I, I, I want to help them to be with uh, normality with us, training, uh, thinking, and above all, uh, taking the focus for, for each training and each match. Tell us about um, the game last weekend. What aspect of the performance most impressed you, made you happiest? Really, we need to improve. And uh, we were happy with this, that's uh, three points. But uh, we played seriously. But uh, I want to improve in each position uh, on, 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 on that uh, first 11 for, for us. Better build up, better progress with the combination, uh, with more uh, safe 
each moment when we are passing the ball between us for good positioning and uh, when we are progressing with with the ball we are progressing like a team can find better can look uh, for better our best position best solution in attacking third we work, we work it very well uh, very big commitment each player but uh, i think we we need and we and we can improve with the same player with another player they are at the moment uh, or they were out that that match and i think uh, first my idea is uh, to get uh, uh, better like a stunting stunting being competitive in each position with the different players and uh, work and take confidence uh, take uh, rhythm because some players because we need more more paces more fits with them but uh, really i am positive because i think uh, after that victory we can uh, have uh, confidence we can have three points and uh, we can work uh, thinking that things to improve for for the next match here and in london against barley scoring goals wasn't your problem last season um so going away from home in the first match to a, to a difficult place and and getting a clean sheet must have really Uh, made you happy no we we can uh, achieve our, our way with uh, different uh, circumstances uh, and really the clean sheet is important but uh, the most important is to win if we can win a scoring out of goal better and if, if we can uh, have uh, each match a clean sheet uh, is perfect but uh, my my idea is to create uh, a big personality to create uh, a big idea thinking uh, we are one offensive team and after uh, being strong defensively and uh, if if we can achieve each match a uh, clean sheet is perfect but uh, really i think we work it very well uh, that's match uh, above all defensively i think we we work it seriously we work it very compact but uh, i think at the moment the balance i i i want uh, we must to improve that balance you know how much of a physical game will saturday be because burnley have Chris Wood and Ashley Barnes who are very physical strikers. Yes, really is going to be very physical match. And uh, we need uh, that adaptation and physically also to be strong and uh, we need to uh, impose our game plan uh, with our structure, with our uh, tactical positioning and uh, after with individual duels against them. But they are very strong in the duels they are very strong in in their structure. Uh, two striker uh, they are going to demand us a lot for defensively long ball second action is the best team i think uh, the last uh, match of the last uh, teams uh, i saw with a uh, with a that structure for for two very very clear but very very efficient playing with that uh, that structure and also they have player they play it very well is you let them to play uh, they can build up uh, with Tarkovsky with, with me they can uh, build up uh, with uh, with uh, is wood and with uh, with cork and uh, after with two winger very good w- w- uh, right hand a leg winger uh, McNeil and and uh, and goodmanson and really really is uh, i respect a lot that team and i respect a lot uh, uh, their their coach you have two of the best strikers in the league in lacazette and abamyang Last week you just played Aubameyang and Lacazette was on the bench. This season is your aim to play the two of them together or one and then maybe the other come on. Give us an idea of how you're going to f- keep them both happy. Last year they played a lot of matches both uh, in the first 11. A lot of matches. Like a striker, like sometimes uh, playing a uh, winger right or left uh, Aubameyang and uh, his capacity i think uh, can help us also this year and uh, they are a striker and uh, they are our two important player like uh, another players but uh, above all i think we can use in different situation both and finally just going back to the Erzon Klassen action this is not necessarily for those two players are we now in england in a situation whereby footballers managers maybe have to get their own private security to stay safe because they are so high profile and clubs can't be with them 24/7 the club is working and helping them 
about that. Uh, and I am helping them in the in the training, in in the preparation, in in being in the squad, the uh, consistent training, and and his mind only focused for 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 that training or that matches. Yeah, but how do you keep the players safe when they're at home? Do they alter the players? The, the club is working with with them for help them, and uh, at the moment they are they are calm calm with us uh, every day.